What's up guys, this is Carter Thomas with Blue Cloud Solutions and today I want to talk to you about whether or not you should do Apple or Android apps. This question that comes up both from beginners and also from people that have been in the app business for a while and they're wondering, hey, should I get into this new market? Uh, which one, you know, there's a lot of people using Android phones in my country. Which platform is right to go after? And I'm going to give you the best answer I can give you. Now the short answer is that Apple tends to be a better choice, right? That's why in all of our courses, in most of our materials, we reference Apple as the app store. That's what we talk about and that's what we recommend. The reason being is because both stores are have comparable sizes, right? They have roughly the same amount of apps and people using those apps. However, the average customer in the Apple store spends more money on apps than people in the Android store. Uh, and because of that, that, that translates into more money in your pocket, right? So on average, people will make more money with Apple apps than they will with Android. There's obviously exceptions to this, but as a general rule, this is what we found with most of our students. This is what I found with thousands of apps that I've built and marketed myself. And there's, there's a few more nuances which I want to talk about, but that's really the top level. Now on Apple, the, the thing that always comes anytime that it, you know, there's more money to be made is that it can be a little bit more competitive. Right? There's, there's more people vying for that, those dollars. So you might see more developers focused on Apple. There's more people spending money on advertising in Apple to try to get those top spots. And really all that that means is that you just gotta go for a smaller, more niche market. Right? That's what we talk about in Blue Cloud. That's what you see on these videos and the blog posts and the podcasts. So it doesn't really matter about uh, how competitive it may look. Just realize that there's a lot of new niche, very specific groups of people that you can target, right? You've seen this with, with emoji apps uh, and a lot of the different niche markets that we're finding out there. So the other thing is to remember with Apple is that there's only a handful of devices, right? You've got your iPhone, you've got your iPad, and maybe you have your iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 7, 6 Plus, 7 Plus, few different screen sizes, but there's not a, a wide range. Now, when you get into Android, you're looking at, I mean, hundreds of different device sizes. And if you really want to optimize the way a really great product would, you got to create dozens of different screen sizes to accommodate for all the different devices because you get so many different manufacturers that are building those devices. So if you want it to look correctly on all those different devices, You've got to design it so that it fits in all those screen sizes. Otherwise, it's just going to stretch and it'll be fine, but it won't look, it won't look crystal clear the way uh, some of you may want it to look. Whereas on Apple, uh, you only have to do it on a couple different devices, which is very, very nice. That also comes down to uh, testing your app. Right? If you have an iPhone or you have an iPad, you're really covering half your bases. I mean, maybe you want to get a, an old iPhone 5, iPhone 6 just to make sure, but you can test it on the simulator. With Android, there are hundreds of devices that you, should, that you need to be testing. And if you don't have those devices, that's okay, but you're going to have to either go online and use some online simulators, or you're going to have to ask some people who have the right devices, or maybe you got to buy them yourself. And it can just be cumbersome. It can be a bigger process. So that's something to think about as well. Now, let's talk about Android for a second and the reason why Android can be worthwhile. Now on Android, you can get huge volume of people, okay? It is, there are, there's no question, there are more Android devices in the world. There are more people using Android devices. It's a bigger platform right now than Apple because it, there's just so much, there's so many more phones, there's so many more markets. And so if you are just looking at how do I go get users, not necessarily paying users, just users, then Android can be a great place. So if you just want to do some market research or build a community of people or whatever it may be, Android can be, can be awesome. Now, if you're thinking about, well, cool, well, I don't need to make money off these people. I just need to show advertisements. Realize that the advertisements on Android will pay less money than Apple as well, right? Because if the top people are getting the same lower lifetime value customers, they can't afford to pay as much for the ads. So it's not like you can get more people and you can show them the same ads you can on Apple. You're gonna get, you're gonna make just the same level of money uh, because those those lower tiers. So it's, it, there's no uh, like hack for that. 
in the sense that you, the ads are a better option on Android because there's more people because you're going to get paid out at a lower price. So it all kind of evens out and ends up being a little lower actually than Apple. But if you do want to just grow a big audience and get a couple thousand, maybe even 10,000, 100,000 million users to get some data or some email addresses or something else that you can then build into your brand or your business in some way, Android has the potential to help out in one way or another. Now on average, this is just from my own experience and from talking to other people, Android typically makes about half as much money as Apple apps do. There are plenty of people that have been exceptions to this rule, um, but that's really what I've seen. And so if you're really doing well on Apple and you're looking for a, a new market to go into, if you haven't already really leveraged Facebook ads and all the marketing you can on the Apple side, um, app, uh, Android could be a good way for you to turn around and say, let's just put this on Android and see what happens. But realize that it's going to be much lower uh, return on your investment from a financial standpoint than Apple was. Okay, so for all of those reasons, if you're just getting started, uh, I would recommend going into the Apple App Store, not going into Android, because you have a better chance of making your money back in the Apple App Store than on Android. Even if you live in a country, right? maybe you live in South America, maybe you live in Asia, maybe you live in Europe or Africa or wherever, and you're looking around saying, man, everybody has an Android device. I should obviously make an Android device. Realize that there's more people on Android, but they have less money to spend. So you will make less money on Android. You will make more money on Apple. So even while there's, it's, it's tempting to go into Android, I would recommend going into Apple first. So if you have any comments or questions about this, I'd love to hear about it. Just leave a comment below or above or, or wherever you're, you're reading or watching or, or listening to this. And let me know what your experience is. I'm always, I'm always really interested to hear about how people are doing on all these platforms. If you have any specific questions, and we can go from there. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm really excited to be able to continue to put out these videos for you all, and I hope you have a great day.